We've heard about all the things 3D printers can create, everything from candy to guns, but there are much more meaningful applications too. Researchers in Toronto have found a way to print prosthetic limbs. And as Christina Stevens reports, they're transforming the way some people live. Modern technology blazing a trail in Toronto. On a project that'll prove life-changing for children with disabilities in Uganda. Countless amputees in desperate need of prosthetic limbs, which there's little access to in developing countries. There's a shortage of about 50,000 prosthetic technicians based on the demand needed. Currently, it's a labor-intensive process done by hand, which requires significant expertise. So we could actually build a semi-flexible socket using just a single material. So Matt Ratto and his team at the University of Toronto have a solution. <laughs> using a 3D printer to make leg sockets, the individualized part of a prosthetic for children. They scan what's left of the child's limb, use software to manipulate it, and print out a plastic socket. It's cheaper and more reliable. One of the main things that the tech allows for is a kind of a, a common standard level of quality from beginning to end. It takes just seven to ten hours to print one of these. That's compared to a couple of days to make one the traditional way. And faster is especially important in a developing country. Where parents living on subsistence wages or less can't afford to take time off to travel with their children to hospital. And project partner Christian Blind Mission Canada points out it's not just once. As a child that has an amputation grows, they're going to need more frequent measurements, more visits to a hospital. When it's ready to go on the ground in Uganda, they'll train locals to do it all there. A moment Rado can't wait for. We'll feel that reward, I think, when we see that first child walk off down the street wearing a prosthetic socket that we've made. And once successful in Uganda, they plan to expand the project to other developing countries wherever there are children in need. Christina Stevens, Global News, Toronto.